Well, it's looking promising. But we'll still play with this thing. All right, so can't leave anything alone. I've talked about before when we were playing with this thing with wiring, I kind of talked about doing like a system install. But it really wasn't complete. It was more just kind of talking about it. So I figured since she's still put away, I mean, I have the system in the truck, but I'm kind of curious what it would sound like in here. And since it already has an aftermarket radio, why not? So I picked up a kit pretty cheap. So I picked up a install kit pretty cheap and I'm just gonna use this jail system that I keep booming around to show you guys how to do like a basic install. So for 16 bucks, I think it's basically stuff you can get from Walmart, um, but I got it off eBay. But here's what it comes with and basically what's in an install kit. Power wire, that's actually included in it because that goes with the fuse and fuse holder. And here's what that is. Now there's different types of these ground wire, remote wire, and RCAs. I now realize that actually this one is missing something which is speaker wire, but that's not a big deal. Um, that's something you can get separate for pretty cheap as well, or um, there's many different variations, versions, sizes of install kits that you can get. But we'll talk about that in a second. I wanna show you real quick what I mean when I say speaker wire, right here. Um, now this is 12 gauge for subs. Um, my go-to is 10 gauge. So obviously you want a little bit bigger because you're gonna be, you know, move a little more power than normal speakers. But it's all really gonna rely on what you're gonna be installing. Now I'm not going into nothing crazy where you're adding batteries or anything like that. This is just basic wiring, one amp and one speaker or one, I'll say one box of speakers because you can get, you know, two subs, three subs, four subs, whatever. I don't have anything here to help wire that aspect of it and give examples, but uh, we're mainly focusing on just installing everything in the car. And you know, it's a single subwoofer setup. So I'll break down what each thing is um, and the variations out there. Um, so the simple stuff I guess we'll start with. So your remote wire, this is gonna go from your radio or a switched source, you know, a switch or tap into something that's gonna come on, you know, when you turn your key and it's gonna go back to your amp. Now it doesn't have to be very big. This is probably 18 gauge, 20 gauge. All you need is just a 12 volt to tell the amp to turn on. Then you have your RCA cables. This is the actual audio signal. So this is what's actually telling the amp what noise to make. In a basic install size really doesn't matter. Um, types there are ones that are like heavy duty shielded and that'll kind of help with certain installs where you can avoid running um you know with a main power wire but in most cases you're going to be able to run those down one side of the car and your power down the other side of the car um so power wire this is a four gauge kit um this is what i suggest pretty much just anyone it's a, a good like mid-range size um, I think it lists this as like a 1500 watt max. Wattage ratings are a discussion for another day because don't always believe what you read because most ratings are like absolute max. Yeah, that's what I can say is most amps, what they tell you, just think of half. So I guess same thing with this, you know, so this is probably good for maybe a thousand watts, 800 watts. Most kits will come with 16 foot, which is plenty for these cars. Um, this one was cool enough that it actually already splits off a small piece to come off the battery. Um, you always want your fuse within six inches of your battery. So that's pretty nice there. This is a new one for me. This is a, a blade type fuse. Usually these come with like the glass tube ones. Yeah, any fuse is going to work. Just make sure it's rated high enough. But just look at what your amp rated for. And go a little bit above that because if you go lower when your amps powered it's going to pop this one so you want this one to be bigger than what you know your downstream load is and then a ground wire um you want to keep it as short as possible um always want a clean very clean surface try not to attach it with anything else you want it to be like its own ground 
Um, I forgot one other thing when it comes to RCAs. If you're not running an aftermarket radio, you can still do this. Um, at the end of the video, I'm gonna bring up what a line level converter is. Um, I'll show you a picture on the screen, a description of what you're gonna look for when you um, wanna go buy it. And basically all it's gonna do is tap off the rear speakers and give you that RCA, that, you know, that signal you need to tell the amp what to play. Um, also do wire colors. I'll start under the hood here. Um, something else I wanna mention too is uh, these posts. You can get these down at your local auto parts store or just order them online. Um, all the threads for batteries are the same. So all it's gonna do is we're gonna take this off and replace it with this guy. And that'll give us a, a spot to put uh, that power wire. I don't recommend it, but you could. Uh, you do have this post right here. But as you see, you know, it's already a four gauge coming off of there. There's already power going through it to power the car itself. So it could, but not ideal. I 100% recommend just going right off the battery. And then you can put your fuse somewhere in this area. Kind of out of the way, but do what you can work with. Yeah, so this is going to be the most difficult part, I guess, of the whole, the whole thing. Getting that power wire through the firewall safely, run down. And then beyond that, it's just, um, like I said, pull this aftermarket radio, hook up the RCA in the remote, and then I'll end up running out down that other side to uh, to get to our trunk. Now, for a coupe, it, same process, right? But you're gonna wanna pull your quarter panels back here, like the whole thing, just to help get your wiring through. And you can do that without removing the seat at all. You don't have like, you don't have the option like sedans where we're gonna be able to take off this little piece and just run that wire up under the seat and pop up behind here. So, let's get started. Now before you start on anything, make sure you unhook your battery. So when you're messing your radio or hooking stuff, nothing buzzes you. So, you see I have got both undone here. All right, so to prepare, uh, this side I went ahead and pulled all the plastics out, even the centerpiece. I said slid that forward. All I did is I grabbed up here and it popped right out. That's where you run the power wire. Figure wall is back here. Went ahead and took care of the ground wire. Um, these seat bolts are fantastic grounds. Uh, if you can, try to put it behind so it's on the, the metal of the actual body. Uh, this one actually, the hole is too small, so I ended up drilling it out bigger for this bolt size. You could even, you know, clean off a spot, drill your own hole. Just make sure it's, you know, a good ground. That'll kind of help determine where we're gonna run the amp too. So some tips for changing out your terminal here. So to get the old one out, there's like a little shroud of rubber. If you do one little slice, you can spread it open, this will fall right out. Now, if you use one like this, you should be able to just thread this one in, tighten it down, good to go. This one, as you can see, I had to cut pretty much the whole top of it off just because it's just how because of how big that bolt is. Everything down there is still covered though, so we're good there. And everything around here is plastic, so um, there's really no concern as to it hitting anything. So, have it on there, just so I can get an idea where I'm gonna, uh, how much wire I'm gonna need. So next is getting down behind here. And really the only good way is rip out the air box, the ram air, and slide this guy forward, so. Um, I have a few other videos describing that, but real quick, just um, push pins out, that comes out, a couple screws, pick one of the clamps, undo it, pull that out. Um, if your box still has it, there should be a 10 millimeter there, and there'll be one right there um, between the battery and that, and then that bottom will come out. So I'll do that real quick, and then we'll come back to the fuse box. Everything's torn out now, and we're ready for this. Now the idea is there's uh, a tab up under here. You lift the tab, this will slide forward. There it goes. Okay, just like that. And then tuck it so it doesn't fly back because it's gonna wanna naturally float back there. One way, I guess the correct way, if you want to call it, would be to drill a hole, get a grommet, and have its own way through. What we're gonna do is poke a hole through an existing one, 
stick you know a long screwdriver all the way through we're gonna climb under the dash and we'll just feed it through so it's still protected and you're just kind of utilizing what's already there so for the driver's side dash push pin right there that'll fall down like that we're aiming for this one right here um, above pretty much right behind the PCM all right so like I said poke a screwdriver through it okay, so I'll pull the screwdriver out and it should be able to feed our new wire from the inside I suggest doing it this way because you got less you got to feed this way if you start from that way you have 10 something foot you got to feed all the way through going this way only a couple coming through there I went straight underneath the actual bracket itself swing up around if you remember you got your air box right here and I got her connected okay we'll go ahead and reassemble all this now and then we'll start working on running this bad boy so I've actually already ran it you can't even tell but right there straight down with the floor run it all the way up it's actually under the carpet back here too okay right there and out it pops right here i do want to add a little bit if you uh haven't discovered something like this yet your time will come shouldn't see daylight so joys of owning a grand am yeah time for some spray foam oh well continuing all right so we're on the behind the radio stuff all the way to just kind of come up straight behind here all the way to the back leave enough slack so you if you need to get behind it you can you know at least take the radio out a little bit and not worry about you know yanking or anything rcas just about any radio anymore is going to have them just make sure which ones you put them in so like for example this one shows a front output and then a rear slash sub some will have more some may have just sub you know remember which one you put where so like this one i put the dark blue with the red so at the amp we'll put the dark blue with the red which which red always corresponds to right then for your remote wire you can see i have it tied in here so for you monsoon guys that are retaining it you're going to have that blue and white coming out of the radio going to the blue and white on your uh, adapter to tell the monsoon amp to turn on so all you're doing is just tie into that it's the same idea you're just telling your sub amp to turn on after that tuck everything in nice and neat reinstall your radio you're done here then we'll start uh and we'll start tucking our wire and head back all anyway, right so once you got your radio back in kind of stretch your cords out a little bit try to get that those folds out of there first thing we're gonna tear apart is this guy so push tab drop this guy there's a seven millimeter over here you can see we're gonna drop it's all right here yeah seven millimeter here and here just to drop this guy down a little bit because we're gonna run up on top of this plastic up a top here then we're gonna drop down and we're gonna go down inside that crease there all right so got that back on about to tuck this guy back in and you can use zip ties to kind of help secure stuff ran that down tucked it down in there and then we come to here you could take this out um if you want to try like i've done i just tuck and just push what we'll do is come back here and get this guy off and ready so that when it does pop through you'll be ready for it Okay, so we're done up here. And then back here, you see where we're at with this. And then all we're gonna do, come up this way, and then we're gonna go under the seat and pop out right here. All right, and there you have it. All back together, we're underneath, and there it is. So, RCAs and remotes are done. So, got a box in here, amp in here. I mean, you could attach the amp to the box and get something light like this is. 
you can get like those little universal L brackets and just something to keep it from moving around too much. Once you get it all wired, you're gonna wanna, you know, tuck your wire up nice. So do your best to secure everything. Now we just gotta hook up the amp. So I got the RCAs in, got the remote in. Um, here's the speaker wire I have. I already had this done up, as you can see, into the box. Um, these, short as possible as well. Now, as far as amp connections, um, these are nice because it's just literally shoved in there. Um, some amps you might have to go and pick up like connectors that have like ring terminals or spade terminals. Whatever you gotta do to, you know, attach it to the amp. Um, it has like the screws with the plates. That's where you'll need like the spade or a ring terminal. All right. So this is where you'd probably tune your amp. Um, you know, mess with your filter if it has one. Um, a lot of radios like this one here also has a filter for the um, subwoofer output as well. And yeah, then you, uh, you're ready to rock. Then we're gonna go, let me put my seat back in here, but then we're gonna go back inside and we're gonna talk about that line level converter. Basically in regards to that, um, you're gonna come up under here to your speaker connections and well that's fun anyway so at the connections right here is where you're going to tap into for that line level career all right back in the back in the office here we're going to talk about um, a couple things first off where we left off with the line level converter or high low converter many different versions but this is the idea so what you're doing is you're tying into the stock radio, the stock speaker wires at the speaker, right? Give a right and a left, whatever input, ground it, and it gives you RCAs. I went ahead and looked up, give you guys wire colors for the rear speakers. Um, 01 to 05, Monsoon, here's what you're working with. Light green and dark blue are left. Uh, dark green and light blue are the right. And then non-amped 9905 and then the 99 and amped ones the little delphi amp uh here's you're working with your brown and yellow for your left and then dark blue light blue for your right drew a picture again as to what's going on so you know right positive negative into one left positive negative into one ground it and your rca is out to your amp for connectors see these things these are called t-taps these are actually pretty cool um, and it just kind of splits off and T. But as you can see, there's just tons of options here. That's your speaker wire, you're tapping into it, and then this line right here is gonna go off to that line level converter. Easy enough, that way you can get a subwoofer in with your stock radio setup. While it's here, I figure I'll show you this. This is exactly what I bought and we just installed. It is stuff from Walmart. Um, I believe they sell it for like 30 bucks in the store though, so. Like I said, there's many different options, variations, types, sizes, whatever. Just look around for whatever works for you. Then one last thing, I'm not gonna really go into detail, but I'm just gonna kinda cover the subject and send you in a direction so you can figure it out. This can go, this is another thing that can go like a thousand different ways. And that's um, speaker wiring itself. There's tons, tons of sites that even have calculators. So it really any, any kind of configuration you can think of as far as a basic setup anyway, literally just look up speaker wiring, like so, and it'll literally give you everything from images, you know, so you can just pull up an image to see what you're gonna deal with here and how to wire it, or you can literally just type in calculator, speaker wiring calculator, and it's this one, yeah. Boom. So that really covers that. And that's really all I got for you guys, I think. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I figured why not add to the daily, even though I'm about to rip it back out and get the black car ready. But uh, it'll be wired for a system whenever I want to put one back in. So we're gonna wrap it up there. We get back to work and keep cracking these things out. So like always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.